fluorescent tube consists of a glass vessel with a mercury vapour inside. On the inside of the glass vessel is a phosphorescent compound. We pass an electric current through the mercury vapour. If we arm into a certain section, we can see that we've got the mercury vapour inside. On the inside of the glass is the phosphor atoms and this is the outside of glass. If we pass an electric current through the mercury vapour, it collides with the electrons in the atoms of the mercury vapour. This causes them to go into an higher energy state. When they drop down to a stable state, an ultraviolet photon is produced. This then collides with an electron in the phosphor atoms, which becomes excited. And when it drops back down again, it produces photons of light energy. Each drop in energy levels produces a unique frequency of light. Further interactions with the electrons produces more ultraviolet which then interacts with the phosphor increasing the energy levels into an unstable state. These then try and fall back to a more stable state.